Hello guys, Art Thieves here. This is the second part of my stylized robot oven modeling series. In this video, I'll show you key stages of unwrapping and texturing this model in Substance Painter. I start off by flattening UVs based on smoothing groups that were assigned previously. Then I break all cylinders and straighten everything I can. Some things can't be straightened in 3ds Max without special plugins, so I straighten them in Rhizome UV. Remember to normalize UV charts to give them matching sizes, so no weird things happen to textures on all seams. Once again, I straighten and relax everything I can in 3ds Max and Rhizome UV. Obviously, we want to position all UV chucks based on texture flow. Also, everything shall be aligned properly. I normalize UV chucks again and pack them using the UV Packer 3ds Max plugin. I set the padding to 16. In order to not to unwrap symmetrical parts over and over again, I copy them and then repack my UV map. Make sure to flip your UVs for mirrored objects. I also use the 3ds Max XView tool to find some overlapping and flipped UVs. Also, I do some final adjustments and fix the topology. After inputting model in Substance Painter, I set subsampling to 4x4 and set the highest amount of rays on all tabs. I also turn off the ID section. To add some transparency settings, I switch my shader in corresponding menu and add the opacity channel to material settings. Also, make sure that all transparent elements are separated properly from the rest of the model for your shader to work correctly. I create the first folder, apply a black mask to it and polygon fill all corresponding parts of the model. Then I create several paint layers, apply a paint old smart mask to them and play with their color, roughness, height, opacity and balance. I change basic material to still painted worn preset material. Also, I create a bronze armor paint layer, give it a scratched edges smart mask, put it into a masked folder and use it to highlight some weathered edges. Some polygons that are blocked from side by the transparent window can be accessed on the UV map instead of the model. The wheel gets the basic rubber dry smart material. In order to highlight some frames and elements, I've copied the basic material folder made it darker, masked it, and applied it to all corresponding objects. I've also made a highly transparent paint layer that had ground dirt smart mask applied to it. This gives our robot a nice dirty gradient. I add an emission channel to our main material and apply emission filters to corresponding layers. Basically, if we want dirt to block some emission, we shall give the dirt a darker emission layer. To decorate our glass, I duplicate its layer, increase the roughness of the copied layer and apply Leak's smart mask to it. I grab a piece of UV map and send it to Photoshop to paint a template for a clock face. It is pretty basic, it shall be black and white and have a transparent background. I use the inverted copy of it as a stencil, which I place on my model in orthographic mode. It is applied as a paint layer, so I can still control its color and add smart masks to it. I prefer to use a paint damaged mask here. I add some decorative numbers to the clock using the font brush on a masked fill layer. Finally, I create a paint layer, set all of its blending options to pass through and use a stamp tool to conceal all seams. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got any value from this video, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more stylized content. And most importantly, have a great day!